World Evangelical Alliance. Thank you, Madam Vice President. First, the World Evangelical Alliance strongly condemns today's attacks on Muslim worshippers in two mosques in New Zealand and sends its condolences to the families of those who died in the senseless attacks. In recent years, we have seen a rise in many countries of a form of nationalism that claims to be based on Christian roots and that carries references to Christian values or Christian heritage. The World Evangelical Alliance would like to affirm that in our understanding, Christian values are not compatible with anti-immigrant, anti-Muslim, anti-Semitic and xenophobic discourses. Nationalism, when it steers up a sense of victimhood, grievance and blame against other groups in society, when it stokes fear and hatred of the other is anything but Christian. We believe that Christianity means loving our neighbors and welcoming the stranger. We have to admit that over the centuries we have failed this principle and at times we have failed miserably. But the principle still stands and continues to inspire believers across the globe. Uh, Madam Vice President, in order to counter rising nationalist populism, we have to recognize that before being citizens of any country, we all belong to the human family, made up of people from every tribe, tongue, and nation around the world. While we affirm the right and need for every nation to provide for its own security, we are concerned that so-called Christian values have been leveraged to foster hatred and discrimination against those adhering to other religions or from other nationalities and regions of the world. We would like to reaffirm the unique value of each and every member of the human family as stated in the Universal Declaration for Human Rights. Without such a bedrock, Democracy is at best the rule of the majority and at worst the rule of the mob. Thank you, Ms. Vice President.